Hello YouTube, this is Morgan, Airspeed Prime here at my next Star Wars Rebels episode review. This one's going to be for Season 3, Episode 17, Through Imperial Eyes. Overall, really, really good episode of Rebels. I didn't expect to like this one as much as I actually ended up doing, because no, going in knowing it was going to be a little bit more of a Thrawn-centric episode, that it wasn't necessarily dealing with the, the plots that I'm super interested in in the series, but actually finding out that, oh, it's going to be a very callous focused episode, that this is going to be the episode where Thrawn makes his move to finally, for once and for all, figure out who is Fulcrum, who is the one giving away Imperial information to the Rebels. And so, immediately, this episode had my attention because suddenly Callus is at risk. And Callus has definitely, since that um, Zeb episode where he changed his mind on the Empire and began to help the Rebels basically after that, um, since then, he has become a character that I think we as the audience actually care about now. We're actually interested to see him on screen and we want him to succeed. So putting him at so much risk in this episode and all of the danger is on him was really good to see. And then to kind of see him for like almost an entire episode just be acting against the Empire worked so well because he felt like one of our rebels. He's just undercover within the Empire now. That this really marked the shift of like Callus is a rebel now. That he's still part of the Empire but he's only there because he wants to help the rebels. And it, it, it made the ending so impactful because this entire episode Callus gets everything right basically. He convinces List to actually start investigating Price, that she's the traitor. Um, then he gets like Ezra to, to dress up and uh, basically act like uh, List. And that makes basically everyone, including Thrawn and Yularen, who's introduced in this episode, to suspect uh, List because of what Ezra's doing. And it seems like he gets out of this episode scot-free almost. He, he gets everything correct extreme and extremely intelligent moves made in really tough situations and it seems like everything works out perfectly for the rebels but in the end it's revealed that there was just a little bit too much going on it fell into place a little bit too smoothly and it just did it did the only thing of just confirming to Thrawn that this is indeed the problem here that it's Callus who's the one who is actually the fulcrum and then what he's planning to do, like, I, I'm not really, like, directly, like, right now, immediately fearing for Callus's safety within the show. I don't think they're gonna, like, kill him off or anything like that, at least just yet. I get the impression that he's now, Callus is now going to be, like, just monitored 100% of the time, and they're going to use anything that he does to get an advantage over the rebels. The other thing would be that I think this is another step of... Um, Thrawn gradually zooming in on which planet the rebel base is on because what happens in this episode is that Chopper deletes the planet that is the rebel base from the system and, he, and it adds another one in. Thrawn doesn't notice it uh, so that's still kind of a thing that's out there but Callus did note which planet disappeared. He actually saw on the holo projector, which planet it was. Now, we obviously don't know how exactly the holograph th hologram thing works, and that like, does Callus know what planet it is, or does he just know the general positioning of that planet? But it is notable that he has actually seen which one was uh, taken out. So he has that information, and if he's tortured, he it could get it, he could release that information if if it if it takes too much of a strain on him. So that's an important factor going forward in if Thrawn wants to, to further narrow down and get an advantage over the rebels, that he has that, um, uh, he can potentially get that information out of Fulcrum uh, Callus. So that was cool. And then I, I think what was so fun about the episode was you kind of felt so sorry for List. Even though List is one of the villains, he's on the Imperial side of things you felt sorry for him because he was just being completely used this entire episode. And to some degree you feel like, oh, th 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 thank everyone just that List is going to be okay after this. That he's, he was apparently like, uh, like put in prison or something like that, but it seems that he's probably only going to get a little bit in trouble for just being 
incompetent a bit in this whole situation. And um, so that was interesting as well. And um, beyond that, there was a couple of other things, just the, the fact that Thrawn's deduction at the end, the fact that Ezra's helmet was um, had the art from Sabine on it, and Callus not only analyzed that the art was of a Lothcat from Lothal, but also analyzed the art style that it was Sabine's, uh, and that just furthered to him the fact that this was a complete setup of the fact that Ezra being a prisoner coming on board the ship to help get Callus out, kind of, um, was all just a plot on their side of things. So that was interesting. Um, I suppose one of the final things to talk about would have to be. Um, what ends up being a bad decision in the end because of how things work out um, but Callus deciding not to go in the escape ship and like I suppose properly betray the Empire and join the rebels um, at the time it was like okay cool he's going to continue being Fulcrum he can give them more information but then you get the reveal that Thrawn knows that it's him uh, so it ends up being this really bad decision because Callus thinks he nailed it perfectly, got everything right. Um, that that was a that was a big scene to me, just the fact that he's willing to continue to put himself at risk to help the rebels instead of saving his own skin. I suppose that that speaks to kind of how much he wants to oppose the empire and give the rebels an advantage. So that I think that that, that just says something about his character. I think Callus that he really does want to help the rebels. It's not just a case of he's just trying to protect his own skin. He is, I think, pretty much all in on the Rebels at this point in time. Um, so, that was definitely fun to see. Um, anything else within the episode? You know, we got some AP5, we got some Chopper, but nothing in particularly notable there. Uh, Rex got a little chance to be involved in the episode. Kanan was in it for a second, but like, was like, got hit by a, a stun blaster and was knocked out for most of the fight, so... That was a little bit disappointing to see, but still, you know, they just escaped at the end, and they don't have Callus, but potentially things are going to lead to the information about, uh, that Callus has maybe leaking, Thrawn eventually finding out where the rebel base actually is, and just the rebels finally experiencing what Thrawn is like when he goes at you. Because Thrawn's been on the defensive, Thrawn hasn't done anything just yet. He's shown how good of an investigator he is and how much he thinks about his enemies, but he hasn't actually made a move, like properly just yet to take pe to really take people out. He's done things like in the factory episode where like he he very cleverly found a way to um, make it so that even if there were people who were trying to uh, you know ruin all the machinery so that it would break when it was in use, he found a way to effectively make it so that even if that's the case. Um, they still have to, you know, you know, test it and stuff like that prior to that. So, uh, we're definitely still awaiting his big move. How good of a commander is he? And I suppose speaking of commanders, we got Colonel uh, Yularen introduced, and we know him from Clone Wars, and that he was like Anakin's kind of admiral within the Clone Wars. Uh, and it was interesting to see that he's basically brought in as this like key investigator who seems to above all else, hate traitors in a way, and setting up this relationship that he has with Callus, that he was one of his best officers, he knows him by, by name. Um, I'm not sure what they're really going to do with Yularen beyond that, because we know he obviously survives into A New Hope, um, but just this idea that, like, okay, okay, so this guy in the transition from Clone Wars and the Republic into the Empire, he supports the Empire and is very much a loyalist, so that was just interesting to, to get some focus on Yularen as a character, see him talk about it and just be completely on the Empire side of things, even though he's, he was one of our, like, key, key, you know, military characters on the Republic side in the Clone Wars, so that was interesting as well. Um, but yeah, I, th I think that's the episode. Um, it, oh, as I said, really, really good. Um, I didn't expect a lot, and so it really surprised me and went far beyond my expectations for the episode. Um, Makes me really excited to see where they go with Callus going next, when Thrawn makes his big move, uh, seeing that Thrawn's really good at fighting, fighting those droids, um, and just kind of in general seeing where other things are going. I think the rebel, the, the plot with the rebel characters themselves needs to kind of kick off. Obviously we know we're getting uh, some sort of a 
like important rebel leader escort mission as the next episode and then there's like a droid focused episode which i'm not at all excited for after that but then the the third episode after this one is going to be uh twin sons which is going to be the big obi-wan episode so i'm so excited for that episode but I, it could be a little bit of hard tracking through these next couple of episodes to get there but in the comments let me know what your thoughts were on the episode and also the review. But other than that, that's been the video. Thanks for watching and bye.